Very good morning. Thank you for keeping it uh, Y254Y in the morning. Now we are on Matters Entrepreneurship and I am joined by one and only Isaac Oyaro. He's a multi entrepreneur person because he has so many deals. As a young person, you'll be surprised what he can do and what he has been able to do. Send in all your comments to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. My name is Adereva Hilary. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning. How have you been? Been good. How have you been? I've been well. Uh, many thanks for coming. Welcome. Now, I am just surprised by what you've been doing uh, in regards to your story. Yes. Uh, maybe I would like you to share the same story with someone out there. Uh, tell us what it is that you do, the business that you have, uh -huh. and then we begin from there. Okay, I'm Isaac Oyaro. I'm a graduate from KU, did finance, economics and finance. Mm -hmm. I have a few diplomas and certificates from IT. A few diplomas a few. and certificates in IT? IT, yes. Okay, from the same institution? No, other institutions. All right. Yes, we, from the time we left secondary, you just try and work around things, mm -hmm. see IT, finance, and see so we can get something. All right. Yes. And uh, currently, what is it that you're doing? Currently, to make meet? <laughs> currently, <laughs> okay. Currently, the IT side do a few side gigs of web design, mm -hmm. web development. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also a small time car dealer, sell mm -hmm. import and sell of cars locally, mm -hmm. even importing some cars. And my biggest uh, place I get my money is executive car wash. All right, now my interest will follow an executive car wash. Yes. I've had, I've actually, I've seen a fleet of businesses uh, coming up for car wash. And uh, yes. how, how did this idea come up? Uh, how is it? The material, uh, the equipment you use, where do you mm -hmm. get them from? Are they made locally or you import? Uh, honestly, in Kenya, you don't have the capacity to, to, to get most of the materials. Mm -hmm. You have to import them from right. either UK or US. Right. The car wash business, you, most people go to a car wash to 200 bob to wash their cars. They don't know that it's destroying the paint. Okay. Paint is like skin. All right. Simply. <laughs> Whenever you shower, you need to make your skin, you, you apply a lotion. The uh -huh. same thing as paint. Uh -huh. So if you don't know really what you do to your paint, after two years of running a car, you bought a car from me, let's say. Right. Two years down the line, you're going for respray. Not mm -hmm. that you've been a fader bender, you've crashed your car, just your paint is just getting duller and duller mm -hmm. because you're not taking good care of the car. Is it because of the water that was used to wash my car or the detergents? <laughs> Mostly the detergents. Okay. They're a bit strong. Also, in the executive car wash, what is the exactly the thing that you do to ensure that now my car will remain young forever? One, uh, simple thing I always tell my customers. Whenever I sell a car to a customer, mm -hmm. first thing is, Get your car detailed. Detailing is just the make the appearance of the car to come back to almost new. Mm -hmm. Most cars get an oxidation layer. You know the sun, UV rays, right. the car becomes duller and duller. So what you do, first of all, you do buffing. What you guys call uh, buffing, we call it paint correction. Mm -hmm. It's either one step or five step process. It can take from as short as three hours to as long as 72 hours right. on one car. Just making the paint look nice. You'll see a picture too. And is it done in a single day, like, or every time I, I'm going to wash my car? No, 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 no. You take your car first. I uh, always say the first time is expensive. Right. I'll do the buffing, I'll detail your exterior and interior. I'll do a valet. Interior is called valeting. Right. Exterior is called detailing. Uh -huh. Once I've done it, you're putting the paint, either putting ceramic coating, waxes or a sealant, mm -hmm. so that the paint remains as perfect as it can. So I mean, coating cause adds a layer right. on top of the uh, paint. It's like a sacrificial layer. Mm -hmm. So the car is most scratch resistant. All right. Even if when the car wash guys wash carelessly, as I, I say carelessly, mm -hmm. it is not, uh, the paint is not disturbed, a ribiki simply. So that is to mean, on a kwako one time, Yes. And your buffing, yes. and then I go to my normal car. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, but I always say to people, mm -hmm. you have to teach the person who washes your car how to wash the car. Right. You can't do much about the, the soap about in Kenya. Most soaps in, in Kenya are either alkaline mm -hmm. 
or uh, acidic. You have to use pH neutral because you don't wash your body with alkaline soaps or uh, acidic soaps. Mm -hmm. The best soap to wash your even your body is kipande, simply. Mm -hmm. pH neutral. No chemicals, no nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, I will have to say th that is your opinion because some of us <laughs> can depend on the nuclear vizuri. Yeah, the scent is a bit more chemicals, but mm -hmm. in the end goal, if it just destroys skin more. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, they say it has a, a few benefits here and there. Yes, some I say it's okay. All right. Now, what made you venture into this business as an IT person? Okay. What made me move into car ownership? I'm an enthusiast. It came from my liking of cars. Okay. And I'm liking your car to look nice. Mm -hmm. If you have a car, you, you, everyone, you let's say, if you have a car and every time you lock the car and you look back, you know you made the right decision. Wow. Yeah, it's true. Okay. <laughs> if you lock your car and look back. So if you're an enthusiast, you want your car to look as perfect as possible, mm -hmm. maintenance wise and even appearance wise. Okay. Yes. You see, most of the people out here, we are crying there are no jobs. Is this a, a one factor that contributed to you from moving to your profession to doing something that you admire doing? Honestly, jobs are there. Mm. Honestly, you mm. cannot say that uh, they're not there. Okay, there's uh, the thing people are saying jobs are there, but all of us who came from campus, you want to have a high profile job. Mm -hmm. I want to be paid 100,000, which is very hard. Some people work for 20 years without earning 100,000. True. So the thing is, yes, I had that well-paying job mm -hmm. uh, before I ventured out. Right. Now, I said, uh, every day going to someone's office from 8 to 5, yeah, it's paying my bills. Every, I'm living the life. Okay. So, mm -hmm. let me now see what's outside there. I had the interest of becoming a mechanic from the word go. Right. So, owning the, my first car, I started having the initiative. I want to know this. I want to see how my paint will look better. Mm -hmm. Then I got the interest. Wow. From the interest, now came the business part. No, every business you have to have an interest in it. That's true. So the interest I had of the car, I have my car to look perfect, I have to wax it. Someone told me, hey, by the way, why shouldn't you do this business? A large scale, because you wax my car, you wax our friend's car outside the house, gives you 500 bob, gives you something. You're like, sour, let me try. Mm -hmm. The initial cost was a bit exp uh, high. Right. Buying the equipment, the vacuum cleaners, the buffing machines, the pressure washers. It sells between three hundred and five hundred thousand investment. Mm -hmm. That's on equipment and chemicals only. All right. You forget about the premises you're supposed to put it, where mine is partly mobile. Mm -hmm. I use, go to someone's house, do it from there. Wait. It's mobile. I can go to your home. Call me Isaac. I need your car to be done. I'll come to your house. Do you have running water? Yes. Uh -huh. I put my pup in your house, wash your car from outside, prepare everything. Okay. I'll say they have 10 hours, yes. Uh -huh. But of the 10 hours, you see the difference in your car. You do it alone? I have a friend, but most of the time I say, I like it, I'll just do it myself. Uh, all right. Now, you mentioned of equipment, the, 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 the amount, and I want to bring in the issue of capital boost because most of the young people would say, I would love to have my own business. Yes. I would want to start up something. But I have a problem with the capital. Capital. You go to, uh, to banks, you go to circles, you go to all these uh, platforms to get money. But the problem will always be, it will never be enough for you to start, for you to register and to have everything in order. So it will happen, hakuna <laughs> capital. Not really. How did you pull it? Honestly, just uh, saying, you have to just kujinima simply. For how many years? That okay. would be the question. Uh, I had this idea from 2017. Mm -hmm. I said it last year. You know, you have bills and everything. Mm -hmm. We are young. We want to have fun. We want to do. But you have to say, I have a limit of, I have a goal of making 10,000 to get these things. Right. You cannot say a person in a year cannot be unable to get 10,000. Because I'll say, if you don't uh, spend that 100 million credit today, You'll serve that hundred bob. Yeah, I have someone to call, and if I don't call, trouble. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. If, if it's your wife, okay. But uh -huh. is that call necessary? Is that call bringing you cash? Uh -huh. Is it giving you a business idea? Is it giving you investment ideas? Uh -huh. If not, it's not a necessary call to give. 
So mimi mtu asiniharakishe sijapiga simu. I need to save that 100 bob. Yes. Okay. The saving slowly slowly. Yes. Uh my other business you car dealers. Mm -hmm. Yes, they give me money. You start with low low scale. You become a we say it broker. Broker is. You yeah. know broker everyone is a broker in Nairobi for car somehow. Mm -hmm. You get a 20k here, 30k here, you use 10k, you save 10k. Mm -hmm. After a year or two, you have enough capital to start. All right. Yes, the issue is everyone wants to say, I have 300,000 in my account. I can't take everything and get this equipment. Okay. Where is the kickback? You know, it can take even four months before you have recuperated all, all your, your money back. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's a small process. Uh, you see, uh, the question is always, where do I begin from? Okay, I have saved the links. Mm -hmm. the, it is said uh, your network says you're not net worth. Yes. But then there are so many people out there, they, they have the idea, they don't know where they can get money from, or they have the money, but they have no idea. How do you help such a person? Oh, sorry. There's always a thin line between an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So having the enough capital and the right idea mm -hmm. to go forward. Yes, the people who have great ideas. Mm -hmm. Most of these people who have great ideas, they came from school. And they are friends who have money. All of, the, all, of the, all the people who came from high school, from campus, mm -hmm. you have a good idea. You always have a friend who is well off than you. True. Tell this guy, uh, I'm not a friend of yours, please help me with ABCD amount, and then have this amount of, of my capital share mm -hmm. of the business. Summer. I will pay you this ca uh, cash after a year or two. Mm -hmm. Or I'll pay you every month 20K, 20K, when the business is running. Mm -hmm. Most people are like, okay, most people who are genuinely okay We'll give you the cash, mm -hmm. but in a very refined, uh, strict manner. They say, you need equipment for this amount. Right. He'll pay for you the equipment, come. Mm -hmm. Or buy for you these things, they come. Mm -hmm. It's just how you relate with people. Or you, the guys who have a lot of money, mm -hmm. there are people outside who just give people loans, so, that, so long as they have some gain out of it. All right. So long as you get some 20K, if you have uh, simple, uh, bonds, Kenyan bonds, from uh, Treasury, right. the 10%. Mm -hmm. If you have 800,000, in a year get 80K. Mm -hmm. If you invest it somewhere, it's either you can lose it all or you can double it. Right. Depending on who has your money. Okay. Yes. It's just getting the right, the right people with the right ideas. Mm -hmm. I can't say that uh, no one has access to funds. There's always a friend, someone who will give you 5,000, 10K. Even me, there's a point of like, hey, bro, it's idea to your 10K, you need to do ABCD. Mm -hmm. People say, yeah, we'll help each other because no one wants to leave their friend 10 steps behind. Two steps, it's okay. But never 10 steps behind. Because they become a liability at some yes. point. Because they start calling me, I don't have rent, <laughs> I don't have food. Uh, then we become permanent enemies. Yes. All right, now you have two businesses that are up and running. Yes. I want to go back to the car wash. Yes. How do you how do you ensure customer relation is tick, customer satisfaction is tick? Something about uh, even my company, Detail Junkies. Mm -hmm. They say every detail counts. Mm -hmm. So long as someone's car came to the, I came to your house, mm -hmm. stayed there ten hours, and you see a significant change customer satisfaction, sa satisfaction, sorry, mm -hmm. tick. Right. Customer, the, those customers, those who, who refer to the other friends, they say, look at how my car turned out from this guy. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get your clients. Most of our businesses, even car dealers, even this one, is just word of mouth. No, no, no you work on referrals. Yeah, word of you mouth. You get one gig, you do you your, your best, best, then you get, get referrals from yes. there. That's the only way you can grow. Say it's from media, mm -hmm. like for, they always say in Facebook, for every, with 2,000 views, you get two, 10 clients, and then out of the 10, only two convert. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of maths and games around uh, social media. Right. Yes, people will like your pictures, 5,000 of them, or even 1,000. But how many people will come and say, hello, I want to get your work from this one? Mm -hmm. Honestly, my business has been by word of mouth. Right. And I've grown significantly. Now, with, with your background in IT, yes. uh, how do you now... Uh, 
what's your marketing strategy? Do you still use the internet, the websites, and other social media platforms? How do you market yourself? Yes, yeah, so with IT, I always say, yes, because I have IT. Mm -hmm. Our web page, yes, create a web page. Most people from outside who want to invest, when they see a web page, they'll be like, yes, this is something who is, who is serious, mm -hmm. wants to do something. But most companies pay these days are taking uh, social media as, as a platform. Mm -hmm. So having an Instagram account, even if I don't like pictures of myself, myself, mm -hmm. Instagram account, Facebook account, and other uh, things will help you. Mm -hmm. That one view from one person who will tell a friend, mm -hmm. go look at this thing. Just uh, one conversion in uh, how many people. Right. But it still goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Never say social media is from the is is dark magic or something. Mm -hmm. It helps. True. People make money out of it. True. Having a YouTube channel, I always say in Kenya, still still coming, but eventually maybe we'll start doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like oh. that, that's a car I sold to my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a, uh, two years ago? So, uh, you sold. I sold to my friend that uh, car. Having buffed it or... This is after buffing. After buffing. You can see how the car is so clear. You can see how the reflection. How many, how many layers? It took... Uh, first of all, it took six hours mm -hmm. to do this car. Mm -hmm. uh, did a two-step correction. You buff it, uh, compounding, which is a uh, hard uh, abrasive. Mm -hmm. Then do the polishing, which makes the car shine. Mm -hmm. And then you put the ceramic coating on top. Now, which okay. makes the car look like glass. Okay. There's like an, another picture we'll see of, of a black car, yeah. that the same thing. Uh, so this car took six hours. Uh, even as we see the pictures, mm. tell me about uh, how do you retain your customers? Mm -hmm. Of course, you, I will do a good job. Yes. But there's that one thing that my customer will never go. Will never go. Mm. My customer will never go because my prices are very competitive, very nice. Like, you can see the reflection for that car. Yeah. Then nice from, from top, you can see it's very nice. Mm. So, my customers, I'll just tell them, uh, so long as you, you call maintenance washers, after three or so months, mm -hmm. car may rewash your car, myself. You can take your normal car wash the other uh, days. Mm -hmm. This is after buffing the s second step. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. see how the reflection is so perfect. They look awesome. Yeah, they're very nice. Uh, wh wh why, would, why would someone want to have this kind of knowing, especially here in Nairobi, so to nakutana na mat kila siku. Sorry, this is, uh, this is, the red thing is called a clay bar. Mm -hmm. It removes body uh, contaminants from the paint. Paint's oh. like your skin. Okay. You know, you use something to wash your skin. Right. And that removes the uh, overspray. You know, you feel your car sometimes is very Bumpy, rough. Yeah, very nice. rough. Yeah. That thing removes most of the things, so it, it becomes smooth. So this is what you use to fa the first uh, round of the car, you use this? You use that. You wash the car, then you call mechanical de decontamination. Uh -huh. Use that thing all over the car. It's a tedious thing. Uh -huh. Using, uh, yes, this is before you, d you use the clay bar. You can see here. Yes, there's a difference. The, the other one, there was, it was clear. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I was asking, mm. uh, here in CBD we have matatus everywhere. Yeah. And these are the people we see wana kugwara na wanaenda. Mm -hmm. So hii ni kigwara, uh, how much cost will I incur again? Okay, Gara, uh, the thing is, uh, if you have gotten, we call it a fender bender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you get a fender bender, there are two ways. I can see reflection from that car. Yeah, reflection, that's yeah. after doing everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so, one, there's one you can move by buffing. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say there's as much as you can do with a, with a machine without d going to paint. Mm -hmm. So long as you can use your fingernail and you can feel the scratches there. So this is before you can feel the scratches there. Mm -hmm. That one, you have to repaint it. No, no, nothing you can do about it. So long as your fingernail can feel the scratch, right. that's a repaint. Mm -hmm. If your fingernail cannot catch, uh, catch the scratch, mm -hmm. you can buff it out. Simple. Am I doing it to that particular area or now be required maybe? Would, will there be a difference between one side, uh, assuming it's the door? Yeah. Will it have a difference with the others? Yes. If I do the buffing, big difference. So I'll have to do yeah. everything? Yeah, everything. Hey, but I'm not cool here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's, it's a small, 
New so Gen Japan because uh, if you you will not do exactly like the the rest of the uh, sp space of the car, why then would I consider having such? No, the thing is, if you have a scratch, you have done your, your car is, has been buffed. Mm -hmm. With me, I've done everything with it to it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You get a scratch. Right. This scratch one has taken to the body shop mm -hmm. to get your car repainted. Right. When you repaint your car, one the panels will not match. Because it's not original. But really, the original part is a very big misconception in Kenya. Mm -hmm. What happens? Wh why can't I have the exact? You see, when you repaint a uh, panel, mm -hmm. there's something you call color color matching, okay, or color sanding. Mm -hmm. So when you come, uh, this let's say your door, your right side door has been repainted, right, and the back side has I have detailed it, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. My side will look perfect. This side will look very blurry. Right. So it's, you come there, we say, what's, what are you going to do about it? Either we make it as much as possible to this side, mm -hmm. or we try to make this side look as much as to this side. All right. Because a new fresh paint will just look better than the older paint. Even if I've done a 50-step correction, mm -hmm. there's something about fresh but paint. It will never match with the previous. Yeah. So and that's, that's the problem That's now. the pro problem, because paint mixtures in Kenya are a bit off. Mm -hmm. But there's a few new places which are coming up mm -hmm. who are making paint the right way. Hmm. So you can color match it very nicely. All right. Uh, we are speaking of unemployment. Yes. And you say this is uh, something that you often do alone. Yes. Have you mentored people out there? Yes, a few friends. And they're doing them. Uh, have you thought of having a great group, maybe you in your company now you have several as in when someone calls you have someone to send to this area as in only two because uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 at your level no, you see, the thing is business uh, kubwa ma no the business is big but you know most people want your own hands to be there okay i can send someone but if you train someone maybe they could be close uh, to you yes the thing is okay. once you have done someone's you know how people are we are kenyans <laughs> i want him to come and do it. Come and see Okay. Yes, it's the same thing about <laughs> guys and hair. Yeah. Uh, I can tell someone to do maintenance washes. Mm -hmm. Just make the car back to it looks nice. Right. Just do a good uh, maintenance wash. Mm -hmm. I can tell anyone. That one, the guys I've trained can do it. Okay. But the high end, because someone's giving you a Range Rover, let's say. Right. Do my Range Rover. Mm -hmm. You will not want anyone just come and touch his car. You will have to do it yourself. Yes. All right. Let's finish with this one thing. Yes. What are the, some of the challenges that you've been facing in this industry? One, uh, the biggest one I can say is uh, Kanjo. Uh, Kanjo and Asumbua. Yeah. But I've called you to my home. But you know, you have, to have the documentations and everything. Okay. So uh, the policies, Zinafinia, small entrepreneurs. Yeah, you know, like, uh, yes, Kanjo one. Policies in there, they have to say if it's a cow, Ka can you know, in terms of the space, space. Um, uh, the documents you need from the uh, say most, most of the time companies is, or something? You have, if you have a running cow, they always say have a static place, mm -hmm. have good drainage, know your, what is going So when you, you're mobile like us, mm -hmm. you have other documents to oh, say okay. you can carry, you know, carry chemicals. They say go to some areas, people like other communities, they say mm -hmm. this chemical, like the one which removes iron particles from the rims. Right. To, Restoration of rims. Mm -hmm. It's very pungent. Some essays they say this is not a chemical come with it to a place where there's children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So those chemicals appear the limitations. Oh, all right. And maybe in your interactions, <laughs> what is the solution to this? Honestly, <laughs> we're trying to find a solution out of that one. Serikali is idea. <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Isaac, yeah. for coming. Maybe your final words? No, we can only say entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. that's a thin line of having the right amount of money, mm -hmm. the right amount of ideas mm -hmm. to do something out of it. All right. Yeah. So, so thank you for coming, Isaac, and thank you. Wish you all the very best in your thank business, you. and I'm looking forward to know what happens next. Actually, you should have told, you, uh, told us where you are. Gong Road. Gong Road. Yeah. All right. Like Executive Gong Car Wash. Yeah. Details? 
just go road, call me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be sharing your contacts on our social media platform for people to reach out to you. Thank you Thank so you. much and uh, all the very best. Thank he has you. been my guest, Isaac Oyara. He's a business uh, car dealer and uh, an executive car wash person. So uh, he's located in Gong Road. Yeah. Thank you so much for keeping us company. Keep it right, 254. My name is Dereva Hillary. See you in the next segment.